Blizzard had a uh, Blizzard had a situation. There's a situation at Blizzard, and we have now gone one day without a Blizzard oopsie because this technically happened yesterday. So the super uber rare uniques are back in Diablo 4 as of yep. right now, but they come with a bit of a warning this time around. Straight from the warning. dev team, I'll explain in just a moment now. Plus, we've got some official replies about the Barbarian class and what is going on with the Necromancer and this nerf. An update about that one as well. Also, the Sorcerer is a very big discussion within the community. We're going to take a look at that. But yeah, we're going to start here about this one right here. I don't see how people can talk about balance with Sorcerer whenever resistance is, which is the main... So, like, the main stat that Sorcerer has is intelligence. And intelligence scales resistances. So, if resistances are bad... Like, imagine if armor didn't work for Barbarians. Imagine how much weaker Barbarians would be because Barbarian stacks strength, and strength gives armor. I don't know why anybody's talking about sorcerer survivability or anything like that whenever they can't even be bothered to fix the main thing that sorcerers scale off of. You know what I think is going to happen? Is the moment that they fix resistances, sorcerers are going to be the best class in the game. Because they're going to be balanced to not have resistances, and they're, then they're going to have so much passive resist, it's just going to be broken. Obtainable is temporarily unobtainable. And yeah, you guys may remember yeah, that. The they... unobtainable items were made unobtainable. Temporarily disabled Uber uniques from dropping in game while they address an I issue. just I can't believe how stupid Blizzard is to, to call an item an Uber unique. Like it's just it's such a like I just I can't it it's probably that like one of the dumbest things they did in Diablo 4. With hell tied chest drops and it was a mess. Many people got their hands mm -hmm. on these super rares when they apparently shouldn't have. Now, of course, the... Technically not true. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Actually, uh, he might have actually showed this. Only 141 people got a Shaco from... Uh, that's the Harlequin Crest, the helmet. Uh, only 141 people got got the helmet. Hotfix is live right now, according to Adam Fletcher. It says... Our second Diablo 4 hotfix for the day is now out. This brings Uber name. unique items yeah, back into the game. Let's dive so into it Shaco. the actual it's a fucking tongue twister. Fix notes straight on the Blizzard website right here. And of mm -hmm. course, they did say they fixed that issue. Well, like, I wonder if like, I would love to ask them the question, like in a game that has a three month lifespan, what value do you think adding an item that has an average drop chance of one in five million hours creates for the game? Like, what value does that add to the game? Because I'd be curious to hear what their answer is. What are they going to say? The Uber unique items had an unintended higher chance to drop from Helltide Jess. Now, the developer note says this. Mm -hmm. The above change, we have re-enabled Uber unique drops in Diablo 4. In total, yep. we have discovered that only 142 accounts obtained an Uber yep. Unique between there it is. the launch of 1.04 and when we disabled Uber Unique items from the game on the evening of July 6. Now, we do not plan on removing these items from the accounts. In the future, we may need to take action to maintain fairness within the game when a bug or exploit impacts the gameplay of others. So... It seems like if which like that makes sense. I think that somebody who was playing the game, I could have completely like believed that maybe they finally just relax the uber unique stuff. For example, Blizzard did this twice with World of Warcraft. The first time they did it was with the original uh Baron Rivendare's Death Charger. The Death Charger used to have like a 0.02% drop chance. And then Blizzard randomly, at the pre-patch for Wrath of the Lich King, the 3.0 patch, just buffed it to 1%. Just randomly. They just buffed it. They're like, okay, we're, we're going to make it really common now. Then, uh, for the Mists of Pandaria world boss mounts, they just randomly buffed the chance of those too. By like a massive degree. They like 100x the drop rate overnight. So, I don't think that anybody could have predicted that Blizzard... I don't think you could have known this was a bug. Like you, you, you couldn't, per, you you would not be able to detect malicious intent. Ashes of Alar too. I don't know if that's true. I think Ashes of Alar was always a two or three percent. Lucky few to grab yourself 
one of these six super unique rare items within the game looks like you can keep it but if this were to happen again in the future it looks like that they may consider taking it away uh it seems like some people are upset about this they actually well, yeah it's just cool the reason why people are upset about it is like the the fact that it's even a conversation piece to begin with is stupid that's why i think a lot of people are mad the fact that this is even happening at all like why are we why is this even happening it's crazy we want it to be fair right now they're demanding that hey blizzard take this away from these people they don't deserve it whatsoever i say it nobody is nobody deserves it it's a random drop it's what it is and leave it alone because yeah, I think it's a it would random be so drop. much worse to take this away from people right now i think that'd be absolutely horrible now the article goes on to say this right here gameplay changes they said Helltide chess will now have the chance to drop any unique and not be restricted to specific item slot mm -hmm. limitations from any chest. Developer no. With the above change, players will now be able to find unique items from all Helltide chests. Uber unique items also have a chance to be found from all chests. So, this is it. Go into the Helltides no matter what. It seems to be functioning as intended. And you have your chance of grabbing one of these super uber unique items you don't have a chance of getting one of these. The only people that think they have a chance of getting one of these are people that failed statistics. You're not going to get one of these. It's not going to happen. Like, it, it's just not. Like, a, anybody that thinks that you're going to get one, it's just like, yeah, it's basically your chance of winning the lottery. Hell tied chest. It'd be so cool if I could just yeah. find one. <laughs> that would be freaking awesome. Let me know if you guys actually discover one uh during this evening if you decide to hop on well it's evening over here for me at least mm -hmm. anyways maybe it's early bright in the morning for you who knows so let's head on over to twitter where we got those questions about the necromancer barbarian and yes official dev replies all right let's, let's see get it. into this all right so we have nick who says this will you put bloodlands back to what it was after the crashing game issue is finished, oh where aspect of hungry blood doesn't have a cap of blood lances. oh yeah y'all might not have seen this uh let me see if i show y'all this yeah look Mobility. at this ability and the build has great nuance and variations i've put together two versions look at of that damage a build planner that's linked below for easy reference after the video this next blood lance goes through the first pack into the second but doesn't register damage yet that's because the server is now catching up with a cascade. This last blood lance triggered the aspect probably a few times, and now those new blood lances are also generating even more of them. We go from nothing happening to an explosion of numbers. We can now also see a barrage of blood lances that I never cast myself heading into the second pack where they Big also self-propagate, you don't even know what they are again, and even chaining to a third pack at the top of the screen. In essence, that's how the build works. We group enemies and rapidly apply blood lances that then repeatedly chain off each So they obviously had to fix this. Uh, it was crashing people's game. Like, they, they had to nerf it. I, I actually defend Blizzard in this. Like, you had to nerf this because it was just... It was just fucking up the entire game. So it's fun? No, no, because like... People would do it, and then, like, what would happen is that they would do it with, like, one of those mobs that gave, like, damage reduction, and it would lag the game out, and they couldn't even play the game anymore. It's game-breaking? Yeah, it's unironically game-breaking. Like, the effectiveness maybe should be kept, but it shouldn't be kept in that way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally game-breaking. Or cast, or the cap to enhance blood land. Great question. Adam Fletcher does say... There will be adjustments made to legendary aspects, so the interaction doesn't hamper performance, which leads to crashes. Yeah, that's good. So it's an issue with this actually causing a crash. Exactly, for yeah, the it's, it was crashing itself. people's games. You believe that the Necromancer is actually responsible for that. So yeah, again, you know, to reiterate... Uh, I think you... anybody could assume that, that, that that's what it was. It's like if you watch the gameplay, yeah. PoE is like that, though. Ball sack... Ball sack, you fucking idiot, you stupid. You're so fucking stupid. Why are you?
you so fucking st- how are you so fucking dumb how are you so fucking stupid There was a build in, uh, I, I, I forgot which league it was, uh, I, I don't know, but uh, it was a build that could infinitely cast Volatile Dead, which was a spell in PoE, and it would cast Volatile Dead so many times it would actually completely lag out people's games, and they wouldn't be able to play the game at all. And what happened is that Grinding Gear Games was like, oh, this is really cool, but they also capped Volatile Dead at 50 the next league. So they did the exact same thing. This is like literally a one-to-one -one comparison. Did you know about this? I'm curious if he if he knew about this. Boss XD, no, I just played two seasons. Spend less time talking in chat, spend more time playing PoE then. Before you draw conclusions and comparisons that are inaccurate and uh, ill-informed. Can we ban him? We should. But we won't. Please. I, I, I don't want to have to pause the video to educate people every time that somebody has a wrong opinion. He has also said previously is that this fix is hopefully going to be coming with the launch of season one or very shortly after. Oh, yes. Yep. All right. And we have this one right here from Ross, who says, always intend on buying two copies. So not an issue there. Just noticed last night with the first M and K and being able to aim Hota that my crit splash damage multipliers were always double and constant. Love controller as the Diablo 3 Xbox player, but auto aim Hota is half the damage. And the response from Adam Fletcher is it's something well, good. That's what console play the console players don't deserve to do the same uh, damage that PC players do. Yeah, that's what they get. Fuck them. Yeah the team is Seems still fine to me. looking into. So if you're noticing oddities with the Barbarian, and in particular, Hota, it looks like they're uh -huh. going to be making adjustments to that and fixing some stuff there. So that why? is good news. I have noticed this, by the way. Fuck them, that's why. It feels like half the time my Hota is not doing the damage it is supposed to be doing. And it's one of the reasons mm -hmm. I have not really pursued a build there. So I'm like, yes, just finally the way it someone is, yeah. actually Because fuck them, that's it, why, yeah. And it looks like it is an actual thing. I thought it was going nuts. All right, so we have this one right here. Freddy says, so you guys can see the 142 accounts. Oh, this actually is a Blizzard W. I saw this. So uh, the other day we had a, uh, a situation with Blizzard not being aware that some people that were on the uh, top 1,000 were on there. Turns out that uh, Blizzard has heard our complaints and uh, not even our, right? I mean, I was just pretty much saying, hey, listen to these other guys. I wasn't on the list, but it seems like Blizzard is actually trying to fix it. And they're, they're fixed. They didn't, I don't think they didn't fix it. It is not fixed. It, it is in the process of being fixed. One of these items but you can't find the 1,000 players who completed hard. It's a good or fucking question. It's a good point, Freddy. Great fucking point, Freddy. Or first. So if you miss it, yes, that real life Lilith <laughs> statue for hardcore players, the first 1,000 to get to level 100 were etched into that statue, but apparently some people did not make it in when they were supposed to. And he's basically- Yeah, and again, it, these are people that like got like double digit rankings and they didn't even get listed on the statue. Bringing that up here. Now, Adam Fletcher goes on and he replies here saying the following. He says, that is being addressed for this. Most yep. issues, if not all, were people didn't tweet correctly or put in proper B tags. So we will double check on their behalf. So while our search worked fine, we will check on the ones that may have slipped through. And well, it clearly didn't work fine, but okay, it doesn't matter. All right, they want to say, no, they want to save face on that. That's fine. Just fix it. Put the names on the statue. It's fine. You know, the intern that did the search fucked it up. That's, that's not our problem. Just fix the fucking statue. Okay. The official response it's a bullshit. Here, I think it's a bullshit excuse too. this one but, okay. right here. Now, they said the Blessed Mother loves her hardcore children. Hell's forces are revealing some of the forgotten souls whose achievements slipped through the cracks due to entry error, mm -hmm. but still deserving celebrating. We will share an amended list 
with these additional heroes in the near future. So it looks like the list might be a thousand and like five people maybe. I don't know. So it's not going to be a perfect 1,000 individuals and they might have to go in there and like etch in some new names on the statue it seems. What? Uh, yeah, who cares? I think that makes it more interesting. It's like uh, that adds a little bit of flavor to it. I, I think that's badass. It really is. The forgotten no big names. Deal. I feel like it was kind of the forgotten the champions. Yeah. And yeah, that's cool. I felt like Blizzard would be on it, considering how on it they have been about like yeah, adding statue things DLC. to the game, like teleportation to straight into a nightmare dungeon. Well, not straight into a nightmare dungeon at the beginning of a nightmare dungeon, but they've done a great Lord job the statue, there. Yeah. You know. So yeah, I expected this to be fixed, and it looks like they're working on it. So yeah. Yeah, I'm really glad they fixed that. Obviously, I made a video about it. A number of other people brought attention to it, and I'm really glad Blizzard is actually going to fix that problem. That's great. All right, what about the Sorcerer? We have this right here. It says, Sorcerer Uniques are a disaster. This post brings up a lot of good points. Well, so are Barbarian Uniques. Like, a lot of Uniques are a disaster. They suck says the flame scar useless because incinerate is useless and let me know if you guys agree with these of course and it says while channeling incinerate you periodically shoot embers that are attracting to enemies each dealing 692 600 damage oh my god through 944 damage and then we have staff of endless rage marginal you lose a much better weapon enchant or mm -hmm. extra fireballs and yeah he's bringing up some great points and you can see that this mm -hmm. list keeps going on and on and on pointing out a lot of the flaws with the sorcerer uniques and says blizzard get your act together sorcerer's broken on so many levels it's unreal and bro the main defensive stat that scales with sorcerer's main stat doesn't even work like their stats don't even work <laughs> and and the eta on fixing it is in a season that we don't even have a date for i'm curious to see what's going to happen particularly with the pre-season one patch which will be releasing on july 18th now this upcoming patch is going to be the biggest patch today it's yeah, also going to so. be including new balance changes new adjustments to every single class I'm quite curious to see if they also adjust things here that this guy is talking about with the sorcerer but hoping that things improve all around across the board with every single class so could be very interesting when uh july 18th rolls around now we do have an actual reply here it says he respects as this sorcerer issue is the following almost every aspect reads like this skill x does now why but its damage is reduced by excess percentage. Yeah. I have not played every class, got my Sorcerer to 90, and my Necro is 75 right now, but oh boy, if there's an aspect on the Necro that works similar to any aspect of the Sorcerer, I have not found it yet. They're all positives or even double positives. On the Sorcerer, however, you always pay a price, and that price is for the majority of the items just way too high. And yeah, it just seems like Sorcerer- I don't even think that's a fundamental issue. I think that the uh, the issue is that their sorcerer stats don't work, and there's like half of the abilities apparently nobody plays them. That's the issue. I actually don't mind trade off legendaries, but I can I can see the frustration. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I can see where he's coming from. I just don't really think that's the core issue. Their fans are pretty upset about this. By the way, it seems like a lot of you guys want to see an update to the Mel clothing options for the sorcerer as mm -hmm. well to have more i guess you would say like masculine male uh, outfits for the sorcerer let me know if you guys agree with that i've seen many posts Jesus, bro like what is he doing with this build what is he doing man? like just bro just copy it off of just copy the build off of icy veins or not i max roll just copy the build like, anytime I see anybody that's got one of these lumpy things down, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, they're trying to do some hipster shit. Oh, God, they're too, oh, now we got somebody else who's too good for Whirlwind, huh? Oh, you're too good for Hammer the Ancients? You gotta be special, huh? 
You a special boy? You got you got to do the little hand. You got to do the little earthquake. You stop it. You know, play play your meta build like like a real man and shut the fuck up. Not everybody's a copycat. No, that's right. Some people don't want a boring one button build. What do you mean? I don't have a boring one button build. I cast three buttons and then I hit one button. Three shouts. On Reddit about that one. Let's get Why into you people your build top deploy? comments for my most recent video, which was That's not too long ago. So check it out. It goes on to say this one right here. Diablo 4 just got yep. some new sudden nerfs. How I am. Respond to backlash. Reveal new patches and more. Check it out if you missed it. But uh, I'm going to scroll on down here. And yes, let's get into what Darth Nation says. After level 80, mm -hmm. we should never see sacred gear drop i couldn't agree more i'm getting so much pointless gear even right now in world tier four i feel like when you hit world tier four you know i think sacred shouldn't drop at um like if you're doing a nightmare dungeon and the mobs are over level 100 there should be a zero percent chance for a sacred item to drop that's it 90 i think 100 I, I, 85 90 that i would be fine with 100 personally but okay you want to say 85 that's fine okay sure ancestral should be the thing that's dropping a lot more often than it dropped you know it seems like you're still getting a lot of sacred stuff now one thing that people like i say people to complain about this shit a lot i think they're kind of dumb because uh like really i don't think it's that big of a deal like i agree it's stupid but i really don't think it's that big of a deal these are people that are like spam farming like normal mode dungeons and like outdoor content, which is like easier and it gives worse rewards. I think that's fine. Like what the fuck? So like if you go into like a nightmare tier 40 plus dungeon, you're not going to get a lot of sacred items. You're going to get a ton of ancestral items. I almost get like a full inventory full of ancestral items every nightmare dungeon I run. Do you miss out on, and this is interesting, is the fact that you can take aspects from ancestral gear and put it on a sacred piece of gear and essentially level it up upgrade it to ancestral that is a what thing the fuck? but it's not really advertised that much and i feel like people kind of like throw away yeah, I didn't all even of know that. their sacred gear at a certain point when in fact some of that sacred gear is still very much top tier now i just think that this should be reworked i really do think that it should be mostly just ancestral gear that you are obtaining in world tier yeah of course or to alleviate some of that confusion that i believe is happening within the community all right next up we have this one right here felmira uh -huh. who says i totally agree that once we hit 70 unless you plan to push to uber lilith there's not really much reason to farm or play other than these minimal upgrades can't fuck. i i feel like after they made the nightmare dungeon change leveling the 100 wasn't that bad personally right i thought it was fine I, I would level and i get a you know a level an hour i'm getting four paragon levels inside of each level like i i feel like i'm making good progress i'm, I'm getting more powerful i'm planning out my gems i, I don't really feel like it's that bad gear but i do agree that like you need an 85 or a 90 boss between uber lilith and elias like, they need to have, like, an upgraded Andariel or Duriel or something like that as, like, a like a, a, a half capstone dungeon reward or something like that. A mid-boss, yeah, something. No boss progression. It's too expensive and annoying to respect. And lack of storage or keeping multiple builds on a single character or same class. Mm -hmm. So my opinion on this one is they should have had more world bosses that unlocked after like level 70 and then maybe even level 85 have more have that fully new experiences start. and you know i want to see world bosses that also have a sense of urgency when it comes to the actual boss calling in support units uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna just be honest i don't want to see world bosses be anything more than a loop pinata i think any time that i've ever seen a world boss be something more than a loop pinata it's caused so many problems whether it was classic wow or like lost ark whenever like some of the new bosses just came out it's always fucking annoying <clears throat> i think that's kind of lacking right now it'd be cool to have a period of waves 
of uh you know demons or what have you coming after you as you battle a world boss i think that would be so cool to have to manage something like that but i think they need variations of the world boss they need a nightmare version of the world bosses they can go all in with this sort of thing in the end game and i think that's something that they need to tap into with the future of the end game not particularly I think scaling them up a bit is okay like sure maybe they shouldn't die in like three seconds but like i just don't want to see the world bosses be some big pain in the ass Seasons, like where you have way, to like where you have to like think about oh shit it's gonna spawn like you you've got like timers you're checking like a website and you're thinking like okay I, I want to like fucking make sure I'm home at like six forty three because that's whenever the boss is gonna be like I n no 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 please no mechanic beyond level seventy you know anyway there it is thank you all so much for watching stay tuned here. For more Diablo 4 mm -hmm. news and updates, I have you guys covered, I promise. And I will see you all next time. Take care. I don't want to see world bosses just get harder. Here's why world bosses aren't fun whenever they're really hard. It's because you have no control over the people that are in the area. So just by luck of the draw, you get a bad group and you're just fucked. Well, how's that fun? I don't get it. Like, yeah, it sounds awful. Like, what the fuck? That's terrible. So that's something I definitely do not want to see. It's not Moke resets on Lost Ark. Yeah, it, like I've I've done world bosses that are simultaneously like very hard, but you can't control the people in the area, and it's not fun. Straight up, like it, it's just it's just not it, it's not fun gameplay. It needs to be a higher tier requirements for world bosses. Get a group that's uh, 10 to 20 levels under the boss level. It can't be beat. We well, should just get ported out. Then don't play online games. Okay, so then, like, so so your solution for bad game design is for people to quit the game? What? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. So the gameplay's fine, but the people uh, who aren't as good isn't fun? Uh, yeah, that's about right. Because whenever you're... So, like, whenever you get put into a situation where your outcome and the the success of your character is defined by something that is not under your control, that is like prime time for tilt situations. That is whenever people get mad, that's whenever they get frustrated and pissed off at each other. So that, yeah, cause it's like you have lack of agency, you have no control over it, it's awful. That's whenever you have like League of Legends, right? weak people well it's not people that are weak people just don't I, no, nobody is is weak for not wanting to invest their time into something that's not rewarding through no fault of their own that's like saying people are weak because they don't want to gamble that's just stupid but no somebody just you know people have respect for their own time more bosses should stay the same boys just need to utilize sigils and get more people to do pinnacle boss fights exactly yeah was there always some motherfucker that says something like, just don't play? Like, well, if it's bad, they need to fix it? Because there's people that think that they're smart for saying stuff like that. That's why. He's seeing level 55 on a world 4 tier boss. Oh, wait, that's me? Yeah, but that's fine, though, because the world bosses are really easy, so it doesn't matter. A lot of people don't want to waste their time fighting a world boss for 15 minutes. Whenever they're, like, it's a 12-person group and three people in the group are like 30 levels under the boss. They shouldn't even be there. Bad take, League and, League and Dota 2 have proven the whole, my team sucks, that's why I can't be higher MMR is a joke. You're the same skill as the skill bracket you're in. If you don't belong in that bracket, you rank up quick. League of Legends doesn't function the same way as a world boss in WoW or a world boss in Diablo 4. Like you can't compare a PVP team-based session-based game to a world boss like that's not the same thing it doesn't matter like how good you are if you queue up and then you just don't kill the boss because people don't do enough damage yeah there's no mmr yeah that they, yeah that's actually a better argument than what i said yeah there's no mmr in 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 diablo 4 if there was then i would agree with you but there's no mmr it's just i i, I don't know why uh here let me let me tell you something if you make excuses for a bad game, you get a bad game. That's what happens. I have money to attract contrarians. Well, it's good to it's good to get those people out there and expose how stupid they are.
because sometimes opinions like this grow and they just don't get checked. I fucking love this rule. 